Hey guys, this is Jeanette with Anderson Alchemy here to give you your tarot forecast for the month of March 2018. This is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. So if you have a Scorpio rising, sun or a moon sign, this is going to be for you. Now this month we do have a lot of lunar activity occurring, so we won't have a step down too much of the eclipse energies that we've just come out of. Um, we will have two full moons on the first and the last day of the month and a new moon on the 17th. So watch those and make sure to use those in your manifestation techniques. We also have Jupiter and Mercury going retrograde this month. I actually see this as a positive thing because it gives you an opportunity to kind of see what you may have missed as the year has progressed, um, have a second chance to work with it and give you more time to recalibrate so you can make the most of the six month eclipse cycle that we are currently in, which will come to a culmination over the summer, okay? Now let's actually get into your reading Scorpio and see what is going on for you. Now, as you know, uh, Jupiter has been in your sign since October and will be there uh, to the beginning of November. So that is um, definitely a help to you. And lo and behold, Jupiter actually came out for your sign. So um, you are definitely still under the, the guidance and the protection of Jupiter energy, which of course, since it's happening here for you in your first house, this is going to be facilitating a lot of um, deep personal healing for you and also an expansion of your opportunities and your influence in the world So it's going to be both energies which you you know, that's your nature You know how to navigate it So, you know buckle up go for the ride because especially once Jupiter moves into Sagittarius You're really just going to spring forward. Okay um, now in terms of your Actual relationships though, you will see some changes here. So there will be some um potential dissolutions of current relationships that you have, you know, people that really aren't for you or about you or in alignment with your values, they need to go. Um, but folks who are for you and really um, gonna help you move your dreams and your goals forward, those folks will start, start stepping in. So you're gonna see a little bit of a shifting of your networks and your closer relationships right now. Um, you know, don't get too hung up about it if you're losing people that, you know, really have meant a, while, a lot to you for a while. You probably already know that they're not really all on the up and up, so let them go. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let them go. Now, in terms of your finances, um, you know, things can be a little hit or miss here for you. Uh, what I would say for that in terms of the money that you're making, just be mindful of how you are managing your resources because since you are... Um, it seems to be in the process of all of this healing uh, work, which is, you know, more destructive and pulling away or clearing and then all this building up energy, you are having to navigate both dynamics. So just make sure that you're not making financial decisions from an emotional place, but from a very grounded uh, practical um, area. Now, in terms of building your resources, there does look to be um, key people in your environment who are either presently there now or who will be stepping in who can help you uh, with growing that. So this most likely will be collaborations of some sort that bring you some financial abundance, okay? Um, also, in terms of your personal healing, you should be also going undergoing a process of soul reunification. So aspects of yourself that you have um, separated from yourself, whether, you know, through childhood trauma, past lives, higher dimensional aspects, any of that kind of stuff, there is a lot of that soul reunion happening for you as well. So ride that wave. Now, you definitely are very strong mentally. So even though you are um, going through this massive amount of transformation, you know what you want, you speak from a place of authority and mentorship, and people are following and listening. Listening. You're also going to be more primed to be very persuasive with your communication, whether that's the spoken word or through the written word this month. So if you have particular things that you really need to launch or be um, on a platform for others, um, that should be uh, definitely a boon for you. Also, you may find that you're going to have people who are in key power positions um, either mentor you or be advocates on your behalf or potential gatekeepers for opportunities down the road for you. So that's a good uh, sign in that regard. Also, if you are working in any context with developing your education, whether through higher education, licensing, things like that, you're going to have greater strength here and greater focus. All right. Now, in terms of your home life and career, uh, you are having some deeper revelations about 
you know, literally how your home is set up. So you may be doing some spring cleaning, <laughs> literally, to make sure that it's in alignment with who you are choosing to be so that on all aspects of yourself, everything is in alignment. And um, But at the very least, you are at a place of um, inspiration and revelation of your emotional uh, motivations for doing things. And that knowledge will help you be stronger in the world. Now, you may be coming up against some stronger personalities, so to speak, in positions of authority. Please be mindful to be in control of your power and control of your emotions and understand how to play the game. You don't want to get into a position of power struggles right now, even though you are someone who has a lot of power. It is important to um, respect that process. Of course, you know, you don't want to be disrespected, obviously, but um, just because someone is providing restriction does not mean that they're wrong, all right? Now, in terms of the practical application or, or ways of being in your day-to-day -day life, um, you know, your routines to help you support this massive transformation that you're going through, um, you actually have the, uh, or excuse me, I jumped ahead. <laughs> Before we get to that, actually, in terms of your creative expansion and your ideas and your idea space, um, that is starting to open up. What you'll find, though, is that if you cultivate the lessons that you, or not cultivate, but if you pay attention to what you've already learned for your personal development and growth and use that as the soil or the... I don't know, the treasure chest that you pull from, that's actually going to be work best from you as opposed to working from your idea space. Your lived experience, your emotional experience is the best place to find that creativity if you feel like you're lacking that. Um, and then also, you're going to find that in your networks, you know, because this energy is coming up again about the soul groups, you're going to have a lot of new collaborations popping up and a, a big expansion in that arena as well too. So just, you know... In general, Scorpio does tend to be the social butterfly, but this may be taking it to a level that you haven't experienced in the past. So just be uh, mindful of that and continue to ride that wave because, again, this is an avenue for abundance and opportunity to come to you. Now, to get to you know the practical application for how you can navigate this, you need to really look at um, being disciplined about your actual day schedule so go to bed at the same time you know every night wake up at the same time every day stay on top of your meditation practice stay on top of your physical exercise stay on top of your food um, all of that practical um, energy really needs to be there because it's allowing you to set a new template or a new um, pattern for what you want to move into so the universe is going to help you with that the potential is there so use it so that you can um, allow yourself to have the foundation that you need for what you're building. Ultimately, this is this whole process this month is helping you to face and deal with issues around power, your power, the power that others have, and the navigation of that. Don't run from it. And normally for Scorpio, I'm actually going to put the camera up for this. This wouldn't be something that I, w I should have to say to you, but maybe because of experiences in the past, you're shying away from it or you're wondering if you can actually use it in a way that's um, beneficial. Um, you need to trust yourself. Just because others have abused the power does not mean that you need to. You can choose something different. You can be the model for what being in power and using power in a healthy way looks like okay so that's your reading for the month of march i hope you enjoyed if you'd like to have a reading with me book a session on my website andersonalchemy.com the website will be below for you i look forward to seeing you in april and i love you much bye